Alright, so one question I get asked all the time is, Lucy, I have an AWS interview coming up. What type of questions do they ask and how should I prepare? Now, you've done the hard part of getting your resume noticed by the recruiter, but how do you then ace the interviews and land the job? If you're new to this channel, welcome. I'm an associate solutions architect working at Amazon Web Services, and I make videos to help people build their technical skills and land a job in the cloud computing industry. So in this video, I want to share with you the most frequently asked questions in the solutions architect interview and provide tips on how to answer them. Whether you have an upcoming interview or at the very start of your cloud learning journey, I would highly recommend watching this video to the end to understand what exactly you need to know to become a solutions architect. Just as a disclaimer, the questions I'm about to share are all publicly available on interview preparation websites and aren't sourced internally from AWS. A big thank you to today's sponsor Squarespace, but more about them later in the video. Okay, let's dive straight into it. So the Solutions Arctic interview at AWS typically consists of these three rounds. First of all, you have your online screening, followed by your phone interview and four on-site interviews. The four on-site interviews have a mix of technical and non-technical questions. The technical questions have general ones and questions more related to the essay role. You may also be asked to do a technical presentation where you walk through a technical solution on a problem you've solved in the past. Because our main focus today is on the technical component, I will walk you through step-by-step -step how to answer five common questions. After that, I'll provide five bonus questions for you to prepare on your own. Question number one, what is your current understanding of the Solutions Arctic role and why are you interested in it? Now, this question is usually one of the first questions they like to ask in the Solutions Arctic interview. The best way to answer this question is to define the Solutions Arctic role in your own words and explain how your skills and interests align to the position. For example, I would mention that a Solutions Architect is a trusted technical advisor for customers as they go along their journey with using the cloud. It's a role that requires both customer facing skills and technical skills in order to help customers come up with scalable, flexible and resilient architectures. This role aligns with my interests because I like to dive deep into technical problems and have a passion for helping others. I could also talk about my previous experiences working in customer facing roles and mention any AWS certifications I've gotten. Question number two, can you explain the benefits of cloud computing? This question is quite interesting because different cloud computing providers have their own way of defining the benefits. In AWS, we define cloud computing as the on-demand delivery of IT resources over the internet with a pay-as-you-go model. And here are the four benefits we emphasize to customers. Agility, elasticity, cost savings, and the ability to deploy globally in minutes. I'll leave a link down below that describes the benefits in more detail. Quick pause, this video is brought to you by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform for you to run your business and build a beautiful online presence. If you're looking to create your own website, get started with the best-in-class website template and customize it to fit your needs. You can browse through different categories and find the perfect starting place. You can also sell your products on an online store. Whether you sell physical or digital products, Squarespace has the tools you need to start selling online. Every Squarespace website and online store comes with a suite of integrated features and useful guides to help maximize prominence among search results. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash techwithlucy to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Now let's get back to the video. So question number three is what's the difference between a SQL database and a NoSQL database? This question is quite straightforward. A SQL database holds structured data and a NoSQL database holds unstructured data. SQL databases are better for multi-row transactions, while NoSQL databases are better for unstructured data like documents or JSON files. You may also be asked to provide an example of a SQL database or NoSQL database. So here are some examples of each. Question number four, how do you secure a three-tier web application in the cloud? The first step is to make sure you understand what a three-tier web application is. It's made up of a presentation tier an application tier, and a data tier. In this answer, make sure you cover these points. So for networking best practices, make sure you configure subnets for each tier, make use of network access control lists, and properly define your route tables. You also want to mention data protection, so ensuring databases and storage are encrypted. And finally, identity and access management. So making sure each application component has the proper level of access required to communicate with other components. Question number five. Give me an example of how you might use machine learning to enhance a product or bring benefit to a company. Okay, so there are many, many benefits and use cases for machine learning, but here's an example. Let's say you run an e-commerce website, for example, amazon.com. Once a customer buys something, they get recommended with other products to buy based on the purchase history of similar shoppers. And this is done with the help of machine learning. I recommend doing some research to understand how it works behind the scenes. 
And as promised, here are five bonus questions for you to prepare for. How do you scale your application for a big traffic day? What happens behind the scenes when you hit enter on a website URL? For example, google.com. What is the difference between infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, and software as a service? What are containers? And how do you migrate an application from on-premises to the cloud? So those were some examples of the types of technical questions you might expect from a Solutions Arctic interview. Feel free to leave your answers in the comments below to help each other out. My biggest piece of advice is to make sure you're open and honest with what you know and what you don't know. So yeah, just be yourself, take a deep breath, make sure you're prepared before the interview, but on the day, if there's anything you're not sure about, let the interviewer know. All right, so this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a like if you got something out of it. Let me know in the comments what type of videos you would like to see next. All right, bye for now.